Hi everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to take a quick moment to share with you this tool that I've been using for the past few months. I documented the first month of using it and it completely changed my routine. The tool that I'm talking about is called the self-care tool and you can find this at Urban Outfitters and Free People and I found out about it through Serene Wu. She used it mostly on her face and I saw a huge difference in her jawline so I was so curious about it. I asked her like a ton of questions about it and she's like, you want me to just put you in contact with Kathy, the owner? So she did and I had so many questions to ask her. I met with her like a couple times and she was so generous with her time and shared with me uh, different ways of using it. And at first I thought that it, you were supposed to only use it on your face, right? So I asked her questions about that and she was like, no, 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 like I use it all over my body. Like I use it on my cellulite, I use it on um, my under boob, on my, like all your lymph nodes, essentially. You wanna go after it and then if you see a flush, it means it's a good sign. So if you're familiar with uh, coining or cupping or um, dry brushing, which is what I have here. Foam rolling, I have one of these things, a disco dick. I've done it all, like I've even used the jade roller tools and like the guasa tools to the point where it wasn't doing anything for me anymore. So I started using the Carl Albach like brass foot to like really press into the skin. So then when I found out about this, it's made such a huge difference. And the cool thing is that I have the jade ones, so I actually apply eye cream using the side right here. What makes this unique is that it's weighted and it has these pins right here. And these pins dig deep to create a pathway for your toxins to release. You don't have to apply a ton of pressure, although I've started applying more pressure than I normally did. I think the whole thing for me is just circulation. So what I do is I um, actually wear a robe. I actually wear clothes over this. I know most people just use body oils or face oils and then they use this tool and go ham on it. It digs through the clothes and then it just kind of creates a slip. For the first month, I actually went ham on my stomach area. And so I targeted the under boob, the um, waist, the like my ab area. And there's also this like little V thing, you know, like where your thighs are kind of, or right before your thighs. Um, I kind of focused on that too and I saw a huge difference and I took before and after photos and the after photos came right before my period So that's like when I'm the most bloated and when I'm the most like puffy and everything and I didn't feel that way at all I didn't change anything about my diet actually probably Made my diet a lot worse because I was DJing a lot more So I was staying up a lot later drinking a lot more eating unhealthy right before bed um, I'd wake up super puffy in the face, you know, so I'd run this tool across and it just helps kind of deflate everything or depuff everything. So if anything, I was probably a lot more unhealthy and this was able to keep me in check. This is made of 100% surgical steel and you can use this to detox, to contour, and to sculpt your body. Um, I've seen so many amazing before and afters on the website too. It was like almost unbelievable, you know? And the owner actually showed her own body, like her own arm and her own like cellulite and everything. And I'm like, damn, that takes a lot of balls because I wouldn't be able to do that. Like I, I, I was so nervous just seeing before and after photos of my body. And I was so impressed when I saw results within a month, you know? So I totally backed the self-care tool. I kind of want to get another one just so I have two so I can just like run both tools around my body and just get everything done faster. So um, I run it across my lymph nodes. And when I first started using it, I noticed that my skin was getting really red, you know? It wouldn't like stay red, not like coining or cupping, but it would just start getting really red. And um, it was a lot of pain when I first started using it. And yeah, so I was a little bit hesitant about it. There was this, even this one point where I woke up kind of sore from like, cause I was running it across this lymph node right here so much. Um, yeah, so uh, I took a break for a little bit and then like it went away and then I noticed that this area just flattened out like drastically and I was able to wear tube tops again. Now that it's been about three months of using this, I've built up a little bit more of a tolerance and I'm not as flush whenever I use it. So I do dig a lot deeper. I still do it in my bathrobe. I still do it while watching TV. I just got like a TV about three months ago. So it was just perfect timing, you know? And at the time I was watching this new show called Pose. Well, it was new to me and um, yeah, so I just kind of binge watched it and it just kind of flew by and then when I was done I was able to sleep better too just because everything was kind of like worked out. Oh yeah, I want to mention I do ceramics, right? And there are days where I get really into it and I'll just sit behind a wheel for about 8 hours, sometimes 12 hours, like yesterday for instance. And um, you, I just kind of get lost in it but then when I leave my body's in so much pain, my arms are in so much pain and I'm just 
like, you know, dying. Normally I'd be like crazy sore, but I don't feel as much pain the next day. But if you're gonna put your body through that amount of work, like being a behind a ceramics wheel, for instance, or like working out or traveling where you're walking a ton, um, try using this instead of using a foam roller because it makes such a huge difference and I feel like it's a lot faster um, reacting. I can seriously throw away all my other tools and just use this for the rest of my life and I'd be happy. Yeah, so that's the self-care tool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.